Hey, how are all of my fellow Aquarian Soul family members doing out there? My name is Morty. Welcome to today's read. Um, today I thought I would do a read for Aquarius. This will be a mid-month read for the month of January. Um, so yeah, Aquarius. Uh, happens to be a sign that I'm personally very familiar with. My sun sign is found in Aquarius. So yeah, and then my moon and rising are both Taurus. So anyways, yeah, I know all about... Uh, I know all about Aquarius, you know, and I love Aquarius. I mean, how do you not love Aquarius, right? I'm just kidding. I mean, but there's some truth there, too. Um, no, I mean, we, we tend to get along really well with everybody around us, you know, because we can be um, really open and accepting of people from all walks of life, you know. We can make, uh, you know, great humanitarians and philanthropists. Um, you know, I mean... Yeah, I mean, give me a cause, right? Give me a cause, and I'll see it through. If it's a cause that I believe in, um, regardless of the price. Uh, so we can be extreme sometimes, you know, which that can be a limiting quality. Um, but yeah, we can be, uh, you know, we tend to be intelligent, right? We're in our heads a lot, right? I'm an, I'm an air sign, so yeah, I spend a lot of mental energy. Um, just thinking things through. Sometimes it's so hard for me to just turn it off. Um, yeah. Anyways, that's just a little bit about me. So, let's, um, let's get started. I'm happy to have all of you guys here, by the way. Um, my name is Morty. Today is January 3rd. Um, and I think it's about 1.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, yeah. Whether you're a sun sign, uh, Aquarius, or maybe your moon or rising is in Aquarius, or maybe you're just checking up on an Aquarius in your life, or you're just intuitively guided to be here, um, I'm happy to have you here. So, welcome. Um, yeah, this should be a really good read. Uh, I'm always excited uh, to do the Aquarius read, so um, it's fun. Anyways, um, hey, I just want to tell all of you, thank you very much for all the comments and the likes and subscribes and shares. Um, yeah, and for all the donations towards the channel, that's what makes this possible for me. Um, I love doing tarot reads. Um, yeah, and to be honest, you know, there are different styles of readers that are out there. And, and honestly, what my goal is, um, as a reader, and you'll see this in, in my style of reads, um, my goal is to be able to raise the frequency of everybody out there, right? Um, to help all of us operate at a higher frequency um, and resonate at just those higher vibrations, right? Because those higher vibrations get us that much closer to joy and bliss and happiness. And yeah, so in my reads, that's really, it's just giving you a forecast of what's ahead in terms of energies, right? And all I'm trying to do is give you an idea of what those energies are like, those energies that you really want to attract, and maybe what some of those limiting energies are, and then just kind of better equip you on how you can go about attracting those positive energies and avoiding some of those limiting energies. Because if you're able to do that, then I'm able to do my job successfully, and you're able to live happier, more fulfilling lives. Um, and that's my goal. So, and that brings up a point. Any of you, I also do personal reads, so if any of you are interested in having me do a personal read rather than just a general Aquarius read, um, let me know. Uh, in the description below, you can um, just email me and I can set that up for you. But um, yeah, and I'm usually, my turnaround time is usually pretty quick. So anyways, I'd love to do that. I'm really happy to learn that my reads are resonating with all of you. So that makes me feel great. On that note, let's get started with Aquarius. The first thing I want to do is just pull an affirmation card just to see what affirmation Aquarius has taking them into mid-month January. Yeah, I mean, I'm feeling a lot of energy right now. It's like my, um, man, my body's kind of tingling. So it's interesting. All right, Aquarius, great affirmation. You pulled the affirmation, card number six. It's a powerful number. Letting go. Allow the wisdom to remain, but the sting I shall never feel again. 
allow the wisdom to remain, but the sting I shall never feel again. Allow the wisdom to remain, but the sting I shall never feel again. All right, so, I mean, this is kind of a profound um, affirmation for Aquarius. You know, letting go. <clears throat> you know, because sometimes letting go of, of certain things in our lives, um, and I know this very well with the Taurus in me, um, it can be so difficult to do, right? Um, but sometimes it's so necessary to, to truly be able to, to, you know, to let certain energies in our life go, whether they're people, places, or things, right? Um, to allow those, those energies to, to be let go in order to open up new doors, right? And change and opportunity and growth for all of us. So, yeah. And sometimes, you know, um, it's, we're letting go of some painful things, right? Um, the painful things that we're able to let go of. And now that we've been able to experience those things, um, we don't have to, we don't have to, to learn those lessons again, right? The sting we don't have to feel again. So it's interesting. All right. Aquarius. <clears throat> Let's see what uh, Aquarius has going on mid-month, January, 2019. Just want to see what the opening energy is for Aquarius, taking him into the middle of the month. Okay, beautiful. Aquarius, you have the Two of Cups. This is a beautiful card, right? So th this card represents the energy of two people, right? And they're standing in the water together, right? So this can be a, a romantic relationship, um, but it doesn't have to be. Um, what it symbolizes is, is it symbolizes a, a level of unconditional love and trust between two people. It happens under a full moon, right? You have a little sprite there, just observing this uh, this young couple sharing of this cup of love. It's beautiful. It's a great card for Grace. All right, tell us more. Wow, beautiful. One of my favorite cards. Aquarius, you have the Magician. Right? Um, the Magician, this is, a, this is a card about manifestation. Right? So Aquarius, this tells me that you are manifesting. Um, and I, again, I, I just want to point out, because I, I may not have in the beginning, is this read will not be for every Aquarius, but it will be for many of us. So, anyways, just want to point that out. Aquarius, you're manifesting. So, by all means, you want this to be for all Aquarians, right? For sure. Um, that's what the magician does, right? right? What do magicians do? They're great at moving energy, right? He stands underneath a crescent moon. Crescent moon representing unseen energy. So this is a great card about manifesting. Okay, Chris. You have the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups, um, this represents a message, right? This represents news of some sort. The figure in the card, she stares down at the wa water lily in front of her. She sits under, you know, she's in the water and she's standing there under a, a full moon, right? And she's staring at the message and it's trying to illuminate something to her. So this is a message coming into Aquarius's life, and it's a message of something that means um, that of love, right? Very meaningful message. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> Nine of Wands. This so this represents it's a fire energy. Um, so it doesn't have to be a fire sign though. But fire signs would be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, 
but it's the energy that it represents. The figure here, she sits on the hill, and she sits next to her lion, representing strength. And she's surrounded by these wands that are lit around her, right? She's been in battle. She appears to be resting, but she's not. She's alert. She's looking out this way, and her lion is cut, well, it has her back and is looking out the other direction. So this represents the energy of needing to pay attention, right? To, to pay attention to close details, right? Mm -hmm. To not let your guard down. Okay, Aquarius, we have the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles, this is a, so an earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, it's, where it's a king, probably a male, but doesn't have to be. Again, it's just the energy that it represents. So this is the energy that represents real stability, right? Real security, um, feeling sound and grounded in your life. I mean, the King of Pentacles, he, he sits in front of his ancient tree throne. Um, and he just brings with him so much wisdom, right? So much experience and understanding. Okay, Aquarius, you have the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands, this represents the energy of, if you look at the figure here in the card, she sits on the side of this hill, right? And she's overlooking the valley in front of her. And she's staring into their crystal ball, and she's looking for guidance and direction. So this is this is encouraging you, right, to seek that guidance and direction. For some, it's encouraging you to maybe consider a partnership, right? The cards are coming out pretty easy. Aquarius, you have the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is coming in under the Magician. So the Four of Pentacles, this represents the energy of hanging on to things too tightly, right? If you look at the figure in the card, she's up in this tree, and she's clinging to these Four Pentacles with her arms and her legs, hanging on to them with everything she has. It represents the energy that... that in some way, shape, or form, Aquarius, you're hanging on to something in life too tightly. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups. This is a beautiful card for you, Aquarius. So the Ten of Cups, this is the, the culmination of the Two of Cups, right? So we opened up the reading for Aquarius with the Two of Cups. So the Ten of Cups, this represents, you know, this can be a romantic relationship. Um, and in many cases it is. You have two people standing in the water. The woman is holding the child up next to her face, right? As the male is, is holding both of them. And he's looking at them with, with you know, a very adoring love. Um, this is unconditional love and trust. This is com absolute commitment to one another. And this is coming in under the Page of Cups. Beautiful. We now have the Ace of Cups. Uh, but yeah, lots of cups in this reading for you, Aquarius. Um, Ace of Cups. This represents a new beginning. Aces symbolize new beginnings. And this is where it's cups. It represents emotion, love, and feeling, right? So, Aquarius, this represents a, a, some type of new beginning starting for you. Um, it's a very loving, unconditional loving beginning, right? Something you're very passionate about. Something that brings you a lot of joy. Something that makes you feel loved. And the Ace of Cups is coming in under the Nine of Wands. Okay, Aquarius, you have the Justice card. This is also the card of Libra. And this is coming in under the King of Pentacles. So the Justice card, it's what it represents, is, is just justice coming to a situation for Aquarius, right? Um, so the figure here standing, she's 
here standing above the river of truth and she's standing on rocks where she looks like she's trying to kind of trying hard to maintain her balance and on one side in one arm she holds her her sword in the other sword or in the other hand she holds the scales of, of justice right the balance and again this is coming in under the king of pentacles Aquarius, we have the Page of Pentacles, and this is coming in under the Three of Wands. So the Page of Pentacles, this represents Aquarius. It, it, it's telling you that whatever it is you're putting your energy towards in your in your life, right? Wherever it is you're investing your energy, that you're manifesting with that energy, right? Because the figure here in the tree, she's up playing her mandolin, and she's playing, hoping that she's able to be good enough to manifest. And here she is manifesting this pentacle. Aquarius, we have the Queen of Swords. Um, this is your card, or could be, right? Queen of Swords, Swords would be an air sign. So Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Um, Queen of Swords, she doesn't get caught up in it with a lot of emotion, right? A lot of feeling. She's out for the facts, the details. She's out to, <clears throat> she doesn't like to use her sword unless she needs to, but if necessary, she's out to cut out whatever's not serving. Aquarius in their life, right? So, if necessary, she'll pull the sword out and use it. And this is the energy taking us out of the reed. Okay, so Aquarius, give me just a few seconds here to kind of take a look at this, and I just want to see what I see, and then I'll, I'll do the read for you. I mean, for starters, the opening affirmation was letting go, right? And I'm trying to think, what is it that Aquarius <clears throat> needs to let go of that I'm seeing that that they're they're maybe hanging on to in the read? And the card that comes to mind, the only card, is this Four of Pentacles, right? So this Four of Pentacles, this this is the card. It, person, places, or things, something in Aquarius' life, and it's going to be different for no matter who we are, um, depending on the Aquarius, right? Um, but it's that energy of hanging on to something in our life too tightly. So most of us will know this is a heads up of, of whatever that is to allow it to just let go, right? Stop hanging on so tightly to things. Because Aquarius, this month, this is about... Whether it's a romantic relationship, whether it's a business, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a new work opportunity, a new, a new friendship, whatever it is, Aquarius, your experience, this, this month is about ha taking on this new loving relationship. Aquarius. Whatever it is you're hanging on too tightly to, allow that to let go, right? Allow yourself to let go and realize that you have the energy of the magician within you this month, right? So you're manifesting. There's no, there's no reason to hang on to anything too tightly from the past if you're manifesting anything it is that you truly desire. Because Aquarius, you have news coming to you of this loving relationship, right? And for some Aquarians, you may already be in this relationship. So it doesn't necessarily mean a brand new relationship for you, right? If you're already in a happy relationship. But it, what it means is that relationship that you're in, it now evolves. It goes to the next level, right? In terms of feeling and commitment towards one another, right? That unconditional love, that bond, right? That's coming into the atmosphere for Aquarius. And for other Aquarians, this will mean a brand new relationship.
Aquarius, you're being encouraged to continue to pay attention to all of your surroundings, right? To raise your level of awareness. Pay attention to exactly what's going on in your atmosphere because you have a new beginning coming your way, right? This new loving beginning. For some, like I said, it's a romantic relationship. It's a new love of that kind, and that's beautiful. For others, it can be work-related, business-related, something that you love, that you're passionate about. It can be a relationship with a friend, with a pet, with a sibling, a family member. But it, it, it means that new energy of love, right? The new birth of love. And here's the thing, not just for Aquarius, but I think for a lot of us signs, you know, 2018 was a bitch of a year, right? All kinds of injustices taking place, right? That just made it so hard, but it, it created the opportunity so, for so much change, right? And so much growth for all of us, right? These two cards are showing up for Aquarius now, letting us know you have structure, security, stability, coming into your environment, right? The scales of justice, justice is going to be served. And you're going to be able to feel that energy of, of feeling grounded, feeling stable, feeling secure. For some Aquarians, you have an earth sign coming into your life, right? Or that's already in your life. It's just taking, taking on a, a, a significant energy in your life, right? Very meaningful. It's a great thing for you, Aquarius. So Aquarius, as you are looking ahead, right, as you're seeking direction and seeking guidance, realize that you're manifesting right now, right? You've been manifesting this day today manifesting all of this taking place something you've been spending your energy your thoughts and your feelings towards for some time now and now it's coming Aquarius this is a time in your life right now to take on this Queen of Swords energy right? Whether this is your energy that you're taking on for yourself, or you have another air sign in your life, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, right? That's coming in, but coming in and you're, you're able to remove whatever's in your life that's no longer serving you, right? You're allowing that to let go. Let go of those things that are no longer serving you. Cut them out and only allow those things in your life that are serving you. This is beautiful. I don't know. I mean, Aquarius. I'm trying to think where I could get some further clarification, but I, I mean, this is a beautiful read. I mean, it, can, it, it really spells it out very clearly right here in this read. Anyways, um, yeah, thank you all for participating in this read with me. Thank you, thank you everybody that's watched it. Um, my name is Morty. I'm really glad that uh, you've had a chance to see this read. I hope it resonated with you. I look forward to your comments, your likes and subscribes and shares. I also look forward to hopefully being able to do some personal reads for some of you as well. So um, again, if, if I was able to, to resonate with you with these energies that I think you know, we have, uh, I really like uh, the idea of being able to work on some personal reads as well. So. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, and uh, have a fantastic January. Good luck to you. Looks like you have a, a great month ahead of you. Thanks.